This is a Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around we're going to have a quick look at uh, how to configure multiple OSPF areas and uh, the, how to show the ASBR status and configuration. Okay, so let's have a look at what we have already uh, in the running config. I have um, router OSPF with an area zero, so very basic configuration, so everything is in a single backbone area right now. And then I have VE1 here, which is assigned to IP OSPF area zero. So um, show IP OSPF neighbor shows me I have a single neighbor, so I am 192.168.1.55. I have a neighbor of 1.56, and his neighbor ID is 1.1.1.1. Um, so show IP OSPF shows me that my ABR uh, uh, my ABR status is no, so I am not an area border router, and we know that because I only have a single area. So once I create multiple areas, my ABR status is going to show up as yes here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build two additional areas. I'm going to build an area one and area two. I'm going to assign those to my loopback interfaces. Um, Show IP interface shows me that I right now I have my VE1, which has OSPF on it already in area 0. I'm going to take loopback 1 and loopback 2 and assign them to OSPF area 1 and 2. Uh, I will then become an ABR, and we can tell that to my neighbor and have a look at, um, at, at the fact that he now sees my additional routes in, in inter-area routes, and he sees me as a border router. So we'll do a config T. I'm going to go into route, router OSPF, uh, and I'm going to add area 1, and I'm going to add area 2. Uh, so then I'll go into my loopbacks, so loopback 1, IP OSPF area 1, interface loopback 2, uh, IP OSPF area 2. Okay, so simple as that. So um, show IP OSPF now says that I am an area border router, right? I'm still not an autonomous system boundary router, but I am an ABR at this point. Um, so I have three areas here, um, and those areas have to be directly connected to the backbone, right? Uh, so there is um, an optional parameter uh, with a virtual link, so you can temporarily link uh, an area through another area to get to the backbone, but that is a temporary thing in the event of a win, a uh, loss, or something like that, if you need emergency uh, 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 tunnel across an area. But that should not be done for a long-term and production basis. So, um, okay, so we got that done. Now, if we tell that to the other side of here, 192.168.1.55, Oh, excuse me, 56. Uh, if I do a show IP route here, what I'm going to see is here's my two new areas that I added, right? So here's my two loopbacks, which are being advertised now by OSPF. So um, you notice that you, we, I did not have a redistribute command in the other router. Those just got advertised by me adding those loopbacks into, uh, into OSPF via the new areas. Um, so the other thing we can see, so 2.2.2.2 slash 32 via 192.168.1.55, um, and then we will see these as OSPF, and the I here means inter-area. So I learned those from outside of the area that this router is in, right? So, um, and then also show IP OSPF. So I am not an area border router, right, because I still only have the single area here. I'm just learning those routes from outside. Um, and then if I do a show IP OSPF border router, I can see that 5.5.5.5, so the router ID of my remote end, is my ABR. Okay, so that's it. There's obviously many more options for to OSPF, uh, so you should explore the manual for further configuration information, but that's the basis to setting up an ABR. Thanks for joining.